tight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. By BlackRifleCoffee.com. It happened, Jabes. It happened. This was. This is what you always talk about. This is your time to shine. Ooh, I love to shine. Yeah. What's going on? Oriental Spa. That's what's going on, Jabes. Go ahead and give it to him. Give the audience what they need right now. Might be a double time for it. If there was any any time in show's oh, history. Oh, hey, boy, you like it? There it is. There it is. You oh, know- you like it, boy. You like it spicy or you like it? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh, uh, Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft. Who cares? The owner of... The New England Patriots gets popped. It's no big deal. No, it's not. But they're making it a big deal. When this story broke, it said sex ring. Yep. Underground illegal sex ring. Oh. They made it sound like a fucking WWE event. Sunday night underground I sex know. ring. Underage women from China. People eating ramen noodles in the back. That's the thing. That's the thing that's pissing me off. It's a misdemeanor $500 fine to Robert, Robert Kraft. That's, I mean, come on. Oh, my God. That is so hilarious. That, that I mean, he's it, just it, like, what? It's, it's crazy. That's like giving a six inch to fucking Gabrielle Sidibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's that going to do? What's a, a Jimmy, fucking six inch? A Jimmy inch? John's regular. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? What's a six inch going to do with no chips? Sure. Sure. Fuck off. It's not going to make a DN. No. No. And I, and. I saw this story and I was like, oh man, there's got to be something more to it, you know? And we waited, no. we waited for it to unfold, you know, because usually we, we pre tape these, uh, the Monday show where it's just like, all right, rad. Yeah. The story broke and I was like, man, there's got to be more. Every article is this sex ring, sex trafficking, humans, China. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Maybe Robert Kraft is involved in some shit like this. Because there's been this, you know, Lolita plane mm-hmm. that's been rumored in Washington, D.C. for a while. Okay. That they've been getting these fucking girls that are underage from around the world to come on, on flights, private jets to fuck these Democratic senators. Pizzagate was, was right. part of that, yeah, 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 that yeah, whole yeah. thing. Yeah, and so like, you're kind of like, hey, are you a part of the... Yeah, that's what the- I thought. And I was like, look, he's always hanging out with Trump. Politics, you know, in in politics, you love getting jacked off all the time. Like, sure, why not? You're just too busy Stressful for job. anything else. Yeah. yeah, I was waiting for the other shoe to drop, or Dude. the other condom. Nothing. No he, condoms, he, like I, I yeah. read exactly. I read I read this the 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 police reports because they're like, oh, we have graphic video of this. It's a bunch of dudes getting jacked off. Is what you have video of that have no idea. Where the girls came from no. that are jacking them off. No. They're not asking questions. Nope. They're not, you know, involved in any of the back end. Uh, it's, I don't know, I'm sure there's an analogy for it, right? Like getting in trouble for, you know what I mean? Like eating something that oh, like, oh, yeah, you yeah. know what yeah, I mean? Look. Where like someone, you don't, you have, you're not responsible for what goes on in the kitchen. No. Fuck no. I don't want to. I like It's like going into La Bamba, burritos as big as your head, and well, then saying, like, hey, I want, I want to know where this meat's coming from. Why don't you show me how this was shipped in? Right. Like, Fuck okay, no. Perfect. Like, you get a burrito, and then you somehow get in, tr- get in trouble for the illegal alien that, like, made it for you. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's sort of. Yeah, it's uh, look. No, the, the, the whole, one, the, the whole thing's a crock of shit. It's to just, me. but they're loving. They're needing another Jesse Smollett. They're needing another, you know, big juicy story unfolds. The plot thickens. It doesn't thicken. And, and they it's keep saying, "Oh, he's of, shamed. Oh, he's sh- oh, he's why fine. He's still hanging out with Brady. He's still flying on the jets. He doesn't fucking care. He's seventy six years old. He's worth six point six billion dollars. He doesn't give Not a married. Fuck. Doesn't give a fuck. And everybody's like, oh, and the media's like, why, why would he do this? It's oh, out of convenience. Oh, oh. 
I cannot stress this enough. If you are rich, the most valuable thing in your life is time. Sure. It's not money anymore. You're no. not checking your bank account. Mm-mm. You're not worried about shit except for where you've got to be next. So does Robert Kraft have time to fly over to China to get jacked off? Fuck no, he doesn't. But in Jupiter, Florida, he can go down to a strip mall. I looked at the time Does he codes. even have time for a prostitute? You know what I'm saying? Right. We were saying that. You don't want to wine and dine. You don't want a pretense of whatever. You don't right. even want to like get the hotel room, have them come up. It's just like, can I just go somewhere really quick? Yeah. Where this can like happen. And again, I, I looked at the time codes of this, right? So they're saying he got jacked off the morning of the AFC championship Had game. Had to. Had to. I was at that game. It the was stressful pres- as fuck. Sure, you, you know probably- who wasn't stressed in that stadium? The one guy when I peeked up above me and saw him sitting in a private box? Uh, Robert Kraft. Yeah. He wasn't stressed out about shit. That was an Good overtime to game to go to the Super Bowl. He wasn't stressed about shit. The time code on his entrance and exit of the Japanese or Chinese spa, whatever you want to call Perfect. it. Asian spa. Sure. For anybody who's offended that I, I fucking mislabeled your country. The was, Oriental was spa. 10.59 in the morning. Mm-hmm. And he left at 11.14, according to the videotape. He was there for exactly 15 minutes. He pulled up. He had a chauffeur. And I love it. And I His chauffeur it. drove him up in a Bentley. Mm-hmm. He got jacked off. Sure. And then he went and got on a private jet to go fly to see his team win an overtime thriller to go to the, a- I mean, to go to the fucking Super Bowl. So what? You know what? I-, I look at that. I look at the time codes of that. And I'm like, smart. It's just using smart. your time wisely. Yep. That's, that's all you're goddamn doing. Yeah. And if you have to fly to Kansas City, which, look, again, I was at that game. Sure. It was 18 fucking degrees. Right. You want to get jacked off before mm-hmm. you go into that shit. You don't want to do it there. No. You don't want to try and find a cold hand in uh You don't want in, two cold hands. You don't want two cold hands in Kansas City. Because let's say they were they were cupping his balls. Like, you don't want that. Probably, yeah. 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 You ha- Like, in a place like that, you get taken care of. And if he's sure. out of there in 15 minutes... 15 also, total minutes. That's howled. including disrobing <laughs> mm-hmm. or, you know, yeah, getting yeah. undressed. Kind of massaging. There's no, there's no massage. They said he laid down face up, which is great. He gets right to the point. He's a man who knows what he wants. Oh, so there's no like. No oh, turn over. Oh, no turn are over. Are we? Are we? Aren't we? Nope. Will they? Won't they? No. None no, of that. Will they? Won't they? None of that. Oh, okay. So he'd been there before and was just like, hey, I'm, I'm going to lie works. face up. Yep. Let's get this going. Let me get the fuck out of there and go to the AFC championship. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I understand all of it. That's a lot of people's issue with it, too. It's not even that he really did it. Because anyone who's smart knows he has nothing. He has no involvement in the sex ring, sex trafficking. It's, that's not the deal. It's basically like the seediness of it. A lot of people are kind of like, you're so rich. Like, you could literally, you know, go to the nicest place ever and have, like, the most... Uh, luxurious women if you wanted. Yeah, if, if you so that's wanted. Sort but of like, it, it, I guess that's sort of a lot of people's situ- you know, things that they're saying is. But I look at, again, I look, so I look at time. Uh, I, look at, I look at time and what's going on. Again, hey, listen, 15 I minutes, it. he's in and out of there and then sure. on a private jet yeah. to the AFC championship. Yeah. Yeah. To, to order a prostitute and deal with that whole shit, have, wait for her to come. It's like waiting on a fucking pizza. Sure. It's still going to take a half hour. They're always so is Domino's. Yeah. yeah. And then they've got to call whoever the fuck they're going to call. Mm-hmm. Check in. Right. And then you got to sit there with them, have some small talk about, oh, how is not the weather amazing? You live in Jupiter, Florida. The weather's goddamn 78 mm-hmm. degrees in the in the in Good the luck finding a winter. hot one there, too. Huh? Yeah. All the way down in Jupiter, Florida. Come on, dude. He just he wants to get to the point, get on about his day and not worry about shit. It is a business. It is a business transaction. They should legalize fucking prostitution for shit like this. Because now you look at it and they're like, oh, the, the, the cops or the feds, whoever was like, we had to set up a, a camera surveillance system. We've got it all on camera. We've got all the sex acts on camera. What do you what do you have on camera? They're so excited that he was one of the people oh, that came amped. in. Because otherwise, this whole sting that they set up would be a little blip in whatever paper would yeah. even be on the fucking news. Like, hey, they, bro- they, you know, busted some sex trafficking ring. Who cares? But again, if you're the feds, what are you setting up a sting for? What are you setting up cameras for 
to, to for what a five hundred dollar fine for a fucking seventy six year old man? No, that's not that makes what n- they were doing it for. They were doing it to get the actual sex trafficking. Cool. Ring. So, so so let's but let's say you were doing but that jackpot when he walked in. Yeah, but but let's say you were doing that then, right? Who gives a shit who was in there getting exactly. jacked off unless they were part of it shipping these girls over from China and doing the whole fucking thing? Clearly, he wasn't one of them. Nor were probably fucking ninety nine percent of the, no. the the sixty plus year old men because I've been to Jupiter, Florida. Your your median age there is about sixty four. That's a place you go to retire. That's not the hot spot. It's not no, like you're getting jacked off at Daytona Beach around spring break. That wasn't their intent. But when Robert Kraft walked in, bullshit. They got they got a story. Do you know what I'm saying? So they set up the cameras for whatever it may be that they were going to catch on camera that would actually trace things back to the sex trafficking and flying people over and, you know, illegally and all of that and underage girls and all of that. that that's what they were setting it up for. And, you know, someone in the camp, you know, looking at the footage is like, oh, but who uh, my question is, this: Robert Kraft. who gets the story, the media? Because what's the police going to do with it? For real, that's going to be miles and miles of paperwork for a $500 fine. Now there's going to be a court hearing. I believe they just set it for April, right? So there's going to be a court hearing on this in April where he doesn't have to appear. So what the fuck does it matter? And they're like, oh, he could face up to a year in prison for what? Getting jacked off for a hundred dollars. No, he's not. He's not seeing any jail time. He's not even seeing any community service. He's going to pay a fine and get on with his fucking life. And then pay. Then that now he's gonna have to pay prostitutes. Now you're gonna get seedy. You start paying prostitutes and all that shit to come to your house, drug addicts and shit. Then he could get stolen, ripped off, fucking rolled on. Yeah. Somebody could slip him some fentanyl. No, going to the Asian spa is probably the safest place he could have done it. Now that's all fucking done. Yeah. There's a camera everywhere. We talked about this the other day on Drinking Bros podcast about what what freedom is these days. I don't think you you really have any. I don't think you have any anywhere you go. No. If you can't go to a strip mall and get jacked off by an Asian anymore without a camera being in there for, for some other operation, and then they're going to leak that out and shame you. Look, I hate the Patriots. I hate the Patriot way. I fucking hate Tom Brady. But Robert Kraft, the owner of the Patriots, getting jacked off from a fucking Asian in a strip mall before the game, not a crime to me. Don't give a shit. Doesn't don't think this should have been in the media. Right. I don't think he should feel embarrassed about it. Matter of fact, I think he should go on Twitter. You know Brady would let him do it if he hashtagged it TB12 so he could get his fucking diet program in there. Mm-hmm. If he let him go on, on Twitter and say, hey, who hasn't done this? Go fuck it's off. true. Like, I know most of my guy friends at some point have had... Just have a story of but that. But to take it a step further, there's a lot of times where you roll into a massage parlor and you're like, oh, fuck. I, I, I didn't know it was one of those type of places. Right. So you don't know what the reason's for or why you're in it. Exactly. He clearly knew what he was doing. Sure. But more power to him. He's a busy guy. I don't think he is embarrassed, to be honest. Is he? he I don't know. He doesn't seem to be, and I think it's... He said he's denied the allegations, which they have it you on have video. To. You have to. You can't when, they, when you have it on video. So at that point... I would turn and say, yo, f- fucking YOLO, dude. I am 76 years old. Who gives a shit? I, don't I think know. the male population yeah. would stand up and be like, <laughs> he would have sold 100,000 more jerseys off of that. Sure. That would yeah. have been amazing. Yeah. So Look, I just, yeah, I don't think it's, <laughs> again, when I see him on the private jet, just chilling with Brady still, like, I just think, you guys, he doesn't fucking care. Yeah, he but, is but a people billionaire. are still this- talking about it. Yeah, because there's nothing else going on, is there? Smollett's done. There's so a what lot, else are we talking about? There, there, look, there's a lot going on. Trump's meeting with fucking Putin, or uh, yeah, that's not Putin. not sexy news. Yeah, you know? Kim again, like, you know. <laughs> it's not sexy news. Uh, there's supposedly some, you know, Mueller's investigation is done, which has yeah, nothing. Yeah, they just will not release it, keep not releasing it. Because there's, not, there's nothing in there. I know. So they're so just you, teasing it. They're you spent, teasing spent the fence. two years worth of shit. Two years worth of, of taxpayer money for, for nothing. For nothing. So, so now you're down to this shaming a 76-year-old guy from getting jacked off in a strip mall? Come on, bro. I mean, that, that, that is just utter bullshit to me. And again, I hate the Patriots. You would have thought no one yeah. would have been happier than me. Right. Look at this fucker. Look but at I this just, fucker. I don't like... It's so... It's such blatant... 
uh, spinning of the story. It's such blatant. Like I know, and I know it's fake news, and I know that I know it's everywhere. But sometimes it's just so blatant that I go, "Is everyone falling for this?" I, I, it seems to be. Is everyone falling for the connecting his name with the sex trafficking, and they're believing it? <sighs> I guess they are probably right. I guess, and it's like you know, you and look that's at what's shitty, and that's what sucks, and it's just sort of like. Oh, if you on. had a, a open, honest conversations like this and the one we're having, like, shit. Then everybody would be like, I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a baker's fuck? And the weird he thing is, is like. He bought a burrito. I haven't. I was haven't made by an illegal alien. Y- yeah, exactly. That, that's all he did. And they were like, and they keep trying to push it of like, oh, one time he had two girls. Fuck. If, he, if you can him. get two girls, congratulations. You're Robert Kraft. Order it up. Each each one was a hundred dollars a piece. You oh gave him a hundred dollar bill for a handy. Great. You could have three in there. Why not do it? I applaud the man. Actually, billionaire, you guys. Yeah. Do you understand how little that amount of money is? Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. It's less than a penny. It, it is to normal people. It is a dollar menu item at McDonald's. Is what that is. No to him. bigs. He just got a McChicken. That's all he did for the day. You got a McChicken sandwich, dude. To the rest of us. To him, who gives a shit? Yeah. I, I, Robert Kraft, if you're out there listening, I applaud you, sir. You use your time wisely. And there's nothing that I appreciate more than using your time wisely. By the way, if you can go in there without Viagra, good for you. Yeah. I think, gosh. Uh, you look at Harvey Weinstein, he was getting dick injections just to get it up. Yeah. I mean, that alone, too. Why even, if you don't, why we even had a, get the dick injection? And it was just. A, let it go. It was your birthday a couple of days ago. And we, had an, we, we went out downtown, got house, and uh, we had an Uber driver that night, right? Yes. And our Uber driver was 75. Yes. Uh, which is strange, but good on him. You know hey, what I'm saying? Dude, he has time. Trump's making America great again. Everybody's working made up some, in this motherfucker. Made some fucking money. Yeah. Uh, but we asked him the same thing when this, when this story broke. And he was like, man... Do you think I want to go out dancing or go to a fucking club or Wine dinner and or dine whatever? He's somebody? Like, I don't want to do that shit. He's like, I'm time. 75. I'm exhausted. Yeah. If I could pay somebody $100 to get jacked off, that'd be a win for the night. Yeah. And I think, you know, everyone understands that. It's just. But why is nobody saying it? I, I, don't, I don't get who that element s- of it. Who is going to say it? Celebrities. And someone on NBC News. If I, um, so, so, take, so take this because no, I thought so about scared. this. If I was Julian Edelman from the Patriots. Sure. I'd come out and applaud him and say, why don't you get off my owner's back? Why don't you get the fuck off his back? He's a busy dude. He needs to get jacked off. I guess because you're worried about the backlash of like, oh, well, they're illegally bringing these women over from China. Again, he doesn't know that. Yeah. And, and, he has th- and it's to that do analogy with that. of like, yeah, getting a burrito made by an illegal alien. The burrito's delicious. I'm not going to bother to do the background checks because it's not my fucking company right. and it's not my job. Yeah. You want me to have a, a, another job other than owning the New England Patriots? Good luck. Right. So, I don't know. I, look, it, you know what I hope he does now? Hmm. I hope he goes over to China, brings them over here illegally, and then s- puts a separate house behind his house. Full of them, dude. Yeah. And she's a bunch of hot-ass Asian women rolling around, jacking them off all day. And R. they're Kelly living their him. best life. R. Kelly them. Yeah. I mean, not underage, Jabes. Right, you right. disgusting fool. Listen, the people, the, the sex cult he has now, they're not underage. Who? R. Kelly. Not according to these charges. When they first got there. <laughs> now they're all not of age. The new ones are, man, there's 10 counts against R. Kelly right now. 10. Gosh. He just, you know, he just got out of jail this morning, right? Mm-hmm. Just got out of jail this morning. I find it interesting of where he stopped. McDonald's. Did he? Right to that Mickey D's. I get it, man. Dude, I've been there. Yeah. And all you do want is McDonald's. It's McDonald's. Isn't that weird? It's weird. How it, it, McDonald's really holds the test of time. They really do. And they, they know their target demographic. And they really do. I just, but is there anything better in this world than a double quarter pounder with chi and some fries from there? Like, no. Like when you need it, like a long flight. Boom, you get off that plane. Let's uh, say it's a night flight. You've been delayed all day. You've been in airports, all that other shit. Your mind is like, whether you get it or You've not. You've been eating bagel chips, uh, like too many bagel chips. And you're sure. like, man, I just need some fucking meat inside my body. Too many of those brown chips from the checks. Yeah, because now you go on an airplane. You got to order their food, which is, you know, 
nine pieces of cheese, two crackers. They don't have any extra crackers for some reason. Oh, please, and that, Saya. Uh, yeah. Oh, please. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, oh, for the Lunchable. Even in first the class, the food lunchable. is not really that great. You're just like, no. man, come on. No. So you get off the, the plane, boom. McDonald's, that, that, that M is smiling at you, isn't it? And they always like a, have them. They always have them so you can see it right when you're yeah. flying in, right? Right now. when you're oh. flying over and you see those golden arches oh. smiling at you like a 19-year-old Asian. There's something oh. about traveling, too, like on an airplane where you feel like eating all these things you don't normally eat. Starving. I'm famished on an airport. Like an, on, like, on an, on an guilt, airplane. Like the your inhibitions go as far as like... Diets, Food everything's out the diet window. Yeah, everything. You're just like, okay, here we go. I'm going up in the sky. Is there part of it? Maybe kind of this. I may not land. Do you know what I mean? Let me live it up or whatever it may yeah. be. I don't know what it is. I only drink full flavored, not diet ginger ale on a plane. I don't right. have it in my real life ever. For some reason, when I'm traveling, I need that combos i never have on land pizzeria combos boom pizzeria combos i never have on best land. snack in I the business only have them at elevation best snack road snack and or plain oh, snack in God. the business the thing that i loved about the r kelly thing was his lawyers picked him up and then they yeah. ate in i was surprised by that in chicago that's a little much that they didn't like get it to go through. they ate there they ate there and a then business a business meeting it was and then a crowd, that's what they said. Oh, God. And then a crowd formed, uh, and then they had to bounce after that. But they've got pictures of R. Kelly sitting down, you know, with his, with his, uh, his burger and, and fries. Oh, God. Yeah. Sounds really good right now. Going over, going over his whole legal case. Let's You're face done, it, dude. R. Kelly's got, with, with 10 charges, it's going to be video. millions of dollars. There's video. I heard there's video, but it, it, here's. There was here's video of, I, of the peeing incident, exactly. too. And here's why I pause on that. It's the same lawyer, that, that Michael Avenetti guy, who was uh, the Stormy Daniels one. Okay. So I, uh, who knows if this is real or not? If what is real? The video yet. He's saying he has a video. I don't know that they've turned that in or whatever. He, there's video. There is. He's always, he's, he's, uh, he likes to take video. That's his, that's his jam? That's his thing. So remember the peeing thing. Yeah. There was video of him peeing in the mouth of a 14-year-old girl. Yeah. And he has been free yeah. ever since, guys. <laughs> so if you don't think uh, he's just been above the law ever since and doing even worse, you're kidding yourself. Yeah. Nah, I, look. I, and we are all culpable. I'm with you. He's, he's, all of us. He's going down. I think uh, Michael Jackson will be officially canceled after after uh, that yeah. doc comes out you know hbo sued him for 100 million or uh the family sued hbo they're undeterred but yeah a hundred million dollars they're suing hbo for this fucking thing yeah but you know yeah. you know how that goes it's just a lawsuit yeah so and they're gonna air it and then they'll go into court and that's you know? coming up so that's coming up next weekend by the way yep it's uh, march, march 4th Third. Third or fourth, yeah. E- either way, we're looking at uh, we're what, looking Sunday? at a screening room. <laughs> oh boy, we're looking at having people over. Yeah, I am going to point at everybody in their face and say, "I fucking told you." Yeah, yeah. you've always hated him. Hold me like the, the river, river John. John. He's uh, yeah, he's going down. I think once well, I think once people see him marrying a nine year old on camera. Uh, All right, well, they're going to be yeah. destroyed by it. Yep. Yeah. Either way, we'll see. Um, I'm amped for that doc, though. Whew. You know I am. Oh, I know you are, Javes. Fuck. If we could go YouTube Live and, and have you watch it, oh boy, that, that. that really is your Super Bowl. It really is. Yeah. Because fuck him. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> like, you are so fucking weird no that's a normal person now when you look at videos of him and his weird way that he's talking yeah and what he's doing now he's like sitting with the kids you'll be like what the fuck was wrong with me i was brainwashed by billy jean you know oh man brainwashed it's crazy it's crazy look we get a huge show again we, we went off the fucking rails and didn't get to the sponsors first up Talking about beans, 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 beans,
Bing, 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 bing. Yeah. I, uh, did you ever get in touch with w- them? With the record or? label? Um, I got, yeah, with both the people. Black Rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. are in. It's it's a no-go on that. Oh, um, they didn't get back to you yet? Yeah, and, the, and it's also a no-go on that record deal, too. Uh, so it's a Sony, no on both. Yeah, Sony, Warner Brothers, um, I think it, EMI, some other people. I think Death Row had it, um, even though they're bankrupt. We gave it to them. Yeah, there's a re- there's a reason why Jared has nothing to do with the marketing, or else Beans would have been boom everywhere. You would have seen it. everywhere. Beans, 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 beans. beans, 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 beans. beans. Uh, go to BlackRifleCoffee dot com for the finest coffee in the lands, made with the tiny hands of veterans. I don't know if they have tiny hands. Some of them probably do. Yeah, probably do. I don't look at them. I don't look at them. Uh, they got K cups. They got bags and uh, the Whoopi hoodies. I believe are back in stock. I believe they have a, I believe they got them back in stock. I told you, sign up for the Coffee Club of the Month program. Use the one-time promo code Revolution for twenty percent off. You can get all those dills, 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 dills. Next up, we've got GhostBed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Woo! We're working out a Mother's Day giveaway here. I got. I just got an email from Rich. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you. It was Jesse's birthday. And the world stops for that. So, it was your we birthday too? We are the world. Is your we birthday are too? The children. Your birthday doesn't matter. Doesn't not anymore because I'm stuck behind yours now. So it's kind of like you know birthday on Christmas where it's just like hey presents and then Is there's that you. Really, how you feel? Yeah, yeah. Then there's you. Like I'm, uh, yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm okay. I'm not a big birthday celebrator guy. Um, you know, the tw- like 21 uh, was 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 a big one. After that, I was kind of like. Eh. All right, sweet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like a look at me. It's my birthday thing. I don't. Even, I like. I took it off of Facebook too. You of your birthday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Smart. Yeah. Um, IMDb still celebrates me, which is nice. That is great. You're but, still in the yeah, upper I'm, I'm echelon. Still, I'm still in the mix there, which is nice. And then I'll get like you know the messages from that of like, holy shit, dude, I saw it was your birthday on IMDb. Congratulations! And I'm like, oh, thanks. You Guys know? don't do the thing of like cards and you know giving each other wine and presents. Like girls will do that till. Forever, yeah. For, forever. I think girls put more importance on birthdays than guys do. I'd say that's probably true. Yeah. I, right? I just, I, look, I don't, we've had this conversation. You guys are like, well, who's, what are we doing for my birthday, man? Yeah. And we've had this conversation in private where it's like, I, I don't, besides like your metabolism slowing down and shit like that, I don't feel any goddamn different than when I was yeah. 18 Work-wise, to now. Yeah. A, a, nothing Partying, has stopped. Partying, sleeping. Yeah. N- literally nothing has stopped. For, I can honestly say since 22, the hours have changed because of kids, right. right? So I have to switch my hours around about writing and working so I, I can at least spend some time with them. The hours haven't stopped for any of this shit. Uh, production and, you know, the, me, the media has changed where, you know, you were making a ton of movies. Now you're making more podcasts and things mm-hmm. like that. But that's about it. The yeah. hours are still the same. Uh, but then the, the mattresses are still the same at GhostBed.com. Boom. Seamless transition. Back, boom, back boom, to that. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Um, but we're working on uh, some giveaways for Mother's Day for their for their sheets, uh, for their ghost pillows. And again, the best thing they've ever done uh, for our audience and, and the audience of Drinking Bros, which is why we share the uh, the same ghostbed.com forward slash Drinking Bros, is because we share uh, a similar thing where there's a, we have a lot of military and first responders that listen to us. And they're giving you an extra 15% off on all of their deals. It's a footer at the bottom of the page. Type it in. That's like an extra 200 bucks off their mattresses. The bundle packages are still there for seven ninety nine, but you can only get one of them. And as always, they have a thirty six month, no interest pay as you go program, Crazy. which is the, the honestly, man, it's it's become like one of my favorite sponsors because without a good mattress and, and how important sleep is, I'd be so fucking angry, angrier than I am every single day. So every single day, it's so I, it is, it is. Uh, shout out to Ghostbed for real, man. Anybody else who, who doesn't have one yet, try it, and dude, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. I love the goddamn things. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. <laughs> pounding the Strike Force lately, just I mean, absolutely pounding it. Pop me a grape out of your box. Where if you're if you haven't tuned into the the video show on YouTube or subscribed, do it. 
Everybody's now watching these. We're, we're making a huge push in a video there. James, pop me a grape out of there, out of your 40 pack real quick. I, I gots to have it. Oh, I okay. do not. I don't usually go this early um, uh, on a strike force. It just it just opens up the top there. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, throw me a grape. There it is. Boom. Uh, this is real live on air. I've not. I've been dragging lately, Jabes. I can't figure it out. I cannot figure it out. Dead serious. Yeah. I'm, ta- I'm taking a little strike force now. Boom. Do it. Popping in. This is great. This shit goes in anything, by the way. Uh, here's the, the pouch. Subscribe to these video shows. Because then you can watch all this shit. Um, this fucking pouch. Right here. This pouch. Um, that's it. That's all you're carrying around. It's not a can. It's nothing. Um, and then, boom. Any liquid available. I, got, I had some coffee. And I was like, oh, shit, we're about to go live on air. Poured some water in this. So I'm, I'm going, I'm going Strike Force grape and water right now, Jabes. And it's fucking delightful. I don't even have to swirl, swirl around or do anything to it. Uh, big fan, man. Four flavors. Lemon, original, orange, make America grape again. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. No carbs or sugars. Fits in with all your diets. And it helps you with that crash. I am crashing these days. Can't figure it out. Cannot figure it out. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Type in the promo code Revolution for twenty percent off. They ship everywhere in the entire world. If you want to, if you want to try it, it's cheap. The, te- the fucking ten pack is like I don't know eight bucks with the promo code. It's great. Try it for real. Um, they have a subscription as well, which we use. I gotta, I gotta stop this crash, shapes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's stop it. Now, now we're in. <laughs> I now I'm in. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little more in there. Okay. I'm gonna be off the rails today. We're going mm. for it. Uh, next up is Robert Kraft's favorite sponsor, StraightRazors.com. <laughs> Ooh, that's a clean cut, smooth. Oh, you like it? Yeah, there it is. You like it, Robert? Who is it? Uh, Gordon Wagner. He's going to have two, a couple of you write it. Oh, to time yeah. Code he's got a. He's Every time, time on YouTube, he time codes when you say you write it. And that you write it Instagram is still going. It is. They've moved on to video. And there's a ringtone. I feel like they're listening. The ringtone is blowing up. The you write it ringtone is, is fucking hilarious God. to me. Uh, that's, on, that's on iTunes. Uh, huge fan of, of uh, straightrazors.com. I use, uh, look, I use their products every day. I don't have a problem promoting any of this shit because I genuinely use it in real life. So it's just like, all right, cool. People come up to me and like, oh, fuck, man. I really do love the aftershave from Straight Razors. And it's like, I, I use it. All of, all of this shit I genuinely use every day. So uh, I'm amped about it. Best shaving products in the biz. Uh, Father's Day, too, man. Again, buy a kit. We say it every year. Buy a fucking kit. It's nice. It's like getting something from Tombstone. They got everything. Uh, beard oils, mustache waxes, conditioners. I heard their beard oil is smolder now, too. I've never, I can't grow a beard, so I don't, I've never tried it, obviously. Ooh. Yeah. And if I that's the like truth, that. if that's it, go get the beard oil. If you have a fucking beard, that's, that shit's the bomb, dude. I, I love all of their products, man. Uh, Luke Webster and the boys bring it every single time. Go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off, 20% off. And then in it, then in it. I uh, want to give a shout out to David Post. He's got the same birthday as me. He hit me up on uh, nice on, on Instagram Happy and said, "Hey, birthday. yeah, it's rare people have the same birthday as me." But well, I wasn't I wasn't fucking with you earlier. Like having a birthday after yours, it is it's like having a birthday on Christmas, where it's just like, "All right, cool." Why? Cool. Because the Mine's celebration and the parties, like the ladies, really the bring ladies it out for do you. It. But we went out all together. We did. We did. But it's not like the guys were like, "Hey, man." You too, you know. Yeah. Here's here's some goodies for you. Like, yeah. I got like wine cards, nails done, the whole thing. like gift certificates. Like, we really do go. And then, like, for the next two days, I had other people wanting to like take me to dinner. Yeah. Or whatever. So yeah, maybe I am more. You are. You are important. more important. I've almost combined it into yours. Just looking at, and again, this is some Robert Kraft shit. But this is some, some time time on on life and what's going on if you are married and you have two children right it's four birthdays a year and you have your parents on each side right Mm -hmm. i got two you got two of what birthdays 
Then you gotta you gotta do something for those birthdays, right? Then you got the rest of the fucking holidays. Right. You got va- like Valentine's Day. We just did um, for the kids at school. You gotta yep. You gotta do shit for that. You gotta get sixteen right? little bags of goodies. Yep. New Year's, Christmas, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. Uh, Easter. Right. Ooh, Easter's. <laughs> yeah. Mother's Day, Father's Day, every day, uh, every uh, like every month, there's a fucking Fourth of July. There's something going on where you're like, all right, shit, I got to buy this and celebrate this and do this for this. And you're just, at the end of it, you're exhausted. I don't mind combining my birthday into yours. I was giving you shit earlier. I really don't. Oh, okay. Like you, you can roll that in. And we're totally good. Right. Um. And then next year, if yours is on the weekend, it'll be yours. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless it's like a milestone birthday of like, hey, you turned 60 or whatever. Like, I don't, sure. I just don't care. Not, like nothing. we did Bahamas for yours. Yeah, yeah, for, for the big ones. It was ones. ours, but it was like. For the, for the big ones, you yeah. You really, you really had your like, time out there. Yeah, yeah. And I enjoy myself. <laughs> Braids. Cornrows. Like just rum in a coconut thing. Which is great. You just kept going up being like. Just you don't need to put the coconut. Yeah, just throw a, just throw a there. splash in there. Just throw. splash in there. Uh, hashtag take me back. Hashtag <laughs> island life. <laughs> Stop. Hashtag all that shit. Right. You're just like, ugh, man. Two of my two of my beef fries from from uh, old school like Chattahoochee days, mm-hmm. high school days. They one of them's got a condo down in, in the Bahamas, oh, so and funny. they go down. The other one flies a he is a pilot now. He flies uh, Cessna. Okay. You know, he's got his own Cessna. Mm-hmm. He, flies, he flies it down to the Bahamas. And uh, they probably go, <clears throat> it appears, like once a month on Instagram or something like that. Good on too much. No, it's not. It's, it's not, too much. It is not too much. No one can handle that kind of <laughs> yes, they can. relaxation. I yeah, couldn't. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> nah. Because their kids are all old enough, too, that they can go with them. Like That's our other issue is, is our kids aren't old enough to do that shit yet. Yeah. So it's just like, all right, cool. I have a straight up baby, dude. No. <clears throat> real baby, Javes. We have a real baby. And a real yeah. live baby. Yeah. And that's what's going down. But if we didn't, yeah, I could fucking island life it for. Sure. Eat at that fish fry all day long. Ugh. You know? Totally. Just go in, pop. That meal in itself was enough to take you down for the day where you're just like, cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. At what age do you just become 300 pounds and say, fuck it? Um, yeah, I know. It's a shame, like, that it's a shame that I can't because that's what I want to do. And not be 300 pounds, just not Trisha Yearwood. worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Trisha and Garth. Trisha and Garth is, is what everybody aspires to be. And if you don't, yes. you should. Yeah. And if you don't, you're a fucking idiot. You yeah. want to work out all day, be insecure about everything, everyone. Good luck. Have fun. I had a conversation with a dad the other day who was just like, man, I just, you know, I like to run 5Ks and fucking Ironmans and all that shit. I'm like, why? Why? And what, what, like, I like to run myself. Yeah. I don't, I, no. You know, but to train for like, a, like an Ironman or something at this point in life, like, why? You're not winning. You know? Right. What are you? You're not. Yeah, you're not. Came in 146. Congratulations. You were what 158 last year. Big fucking deal. Get off my lawn with that stupid shit. Yeah, I get that. Like, but I, then I also I, get when the kids are older, like wanting to do stuff like that. Yeah, I guess. Right now, fuck. There's you, other dude. things that I could do with my time. But sure. like, I, there is one one fraternity brother that I went to college with. He. Uh, Power lifter. He's a power lifter, right? Mm-hmm. He's still, he's, I, I don't know how old he is, but um, he's still setting records right now. So, so when I look at that shit, I'm like, oh, all right, okay. cool. You're, sure. you're setting yes. state records still? Like, fuck. You're not just um, doing it just to do it. Bragging rights with your family. And <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. Like- he's setting state records where you're like, Jesus Christ, man. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Jason Mueller. That's his name. Cut to I'm going to run a marathon at some point and like come in one millionth but be excited about it do you know what i mean what do you what do you think think about what what do you what do you think the the year is that you decide to do that um go the marathon route the marathon route will probably be when jagger is two okay so about about a year and a half and then you want to run one marathon yeah have you picked a city i think charleston 
If they do it in January, it's early January. It's too cold. You wouldn't run, you want to run that cold weather? I'd ru- I mean, that or L.A. Boston, but I like, Boston Marathon's early, too. Or, no. But you have to qualify. Yeah, so, yes, like, right. Charleston is something that it would be gorgeous to run through. And then the ending party, right. shrimp and grits party or whatever, would be great. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then having... Just going to Charleston is awesome. Sure. So it, you have to make it something where your family can go. You can do stuff before and after in the actual town, right? right. You don't want to go to... I mean, they have them everywhere. So you pick, right? But if there was a world where I qualified from Charleston, qualified for like New York or Boston, like sure. I would do it. I would do New York. Okay. Because again, we could go there, have fun. It'd be awesome, you know. Right. Yeah, I think I'd want to do it, uh, like in in Jamaica or on the you know on on an island, and then just call it a day after that. Like, take a full week off to recuperate. They do those. They have one in France where I was like, man, do I want to do that one? Really? Yeah. They, do they have, have them everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You just have to think about travel before, what's travel the, what, after. Exactly. What's, like, what's the significance of it to you? Of what? Well, people I've, I've, I've met in my life, friends of mine who have done marathons, mm-hmm. like some of them are just runners and they're just like, man, I've, I just love to do it every year and it's great. Yeah. Others are like, man, it was just one of those things that I felt like it was a bucket list item and I wanted to do in my life is that what what camp are you in with that it's a couple things I do love running I'm like I I'm bummed that I can't run right now because when you have a baby you can't really unless you leave them with a nanny to go run that still feels weird sure um so you can't really do I just love running and as you know I can run pretty far Without a lot of training. Yeah, you're great. You can, so, you're, you're one of those people who can just wake up and do 10 miles and, and right. not having run in like, you know, a year. You're just like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, but that I had to get to that place. And there's a there. I remember the moment of being like uh, realizing that it's mental. Realizing that your body, if you don't have, you know, issues, knees, hips, blah, 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 things like this. Right. Um, if you are healthy and uninjured it really is mental that even you right now hates running right yeah oh yeah unless i'm getting chased if you exactly if you were chased or if there was some other driving force your body could take you that many miles running yeah i mean look i i that to me is fascinating so I, i look at it this way i've kind of broken it down workout wise i think I jog about 12 miles a week, right? Which is, which is a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's usually, but it's in, so three days a week, I will run four miles. Okay. But it's treadmill. Treadmill. Correct. Which I, is different. I, it is. Absolutely. Um, I don't, I, I hate running so much that right. I definitely don't want to do it outside. Really? Yeah. I don't want cars driving by or bikes or people, okay. ch- the, the possibility of somebody talking to me while I'm running I'd rather be shot by it's, Lee Harvey Oswald. It's greater at the gym, that possibility, than it is on the street. No, because everybody's plugged in now at the gym. So, you know, you've got the, the the monitors of 80 news channels and sports and all that other stuff. And then every single person on a treadmill has got some form of headphone in. And I never get bothered on a treadmill where it's just like, oh, hey, can I? No, you can't because I'm running. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On a fucking treadmill, I don't have time to talk to you. So that's where I feel it's it's at least the the safest that I won't have to have a dumb conversation with somebody. Where it's okay. just like, hey man, I'm and you give it the old tap, you know, mm-hmm. I can't, I can't fucking, you know, it's and it's you give half a deaf voice, mm-hmm. like I feel like I drop down into a deaf voice, and it's super awful. Where but I I really want people to know. I can't, I can't hear you. Please, mm-hmm. please don't, don't talking. I'm on, the, I'm on the treadmill. I'm on the fucking treadmill. I get the thing, and you know, I don't want to be talked to. And I think everybody knows that. And I don't see anybody. I don't see very many people bothering anybody on a treadmill. Whereas out in real life, I almost, I don't want to say I almost hit, hit somebody. It was probably a good five, six feet that I cleared this woman the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, but she was running her ass off in the middle of her thing, and. 
uh, the sidewalk, you know, I was turning left. There was a sidewalk and, you know, she thought that maybe she had had the right, the right of way by, oh, no, by always... running. Yeah. So when, when I, I, cause I had turned, I didn't know how fast she was running and I didn't really mm-hmm. see her that much. And then she was like, ah, just this uh, arms up in the air. I don't, I just, I've got to slow down my run cause a car is turning. Right. No. I, yeah. Cause I'm, I'm on the like fucking that. road, yeah. like a human in my car. You're running, you know, on a sidewalk. Uh, so then she she circles around the back of my car that makes sense. and it's just like, uh, but just still so annoyed that it was like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Was I bothering you because I was driving on the road that you're running on? Like you were running, like unless you're being chased by somebody, I will not feel guilty that I have the right of way on this stupid shit. So mm-hmm. you can you can save the antics and the mad faces and the uh, I, 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 I am I am in the middle of it. Like, I'm sorry I ruined Katy Perry's firework for you right as you were hitting your runner's high or whatever the fuck it is you were listening to. I'm sorry about that, but I'm on the road like a human. Go to a treadmill if you want to get it in and not not be bothered, you know? Mm-hmm. So don't, I, I, don't, I don't even want to subscribe to that stupid shit at all. Uh, that bothers me about running outside. Um, the other issue is the, 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 the weather element of it. Raining, cold, hot. You can't control any of those. There's some days where you run in, in heat and you come home and 90 degrees. Yeah. it looks like you're going to die. Yeah. Where I'm, I've, I'm like, well, that's the day that Jesse died today. Mm-hmm. And then how that's do you explain true. it? Man, she wanted to go for a quick eight, you know, for a quick eight in 90 degrees. Yeah, And, that, and I look at you and I'm like, oh, my God, because you were so there, there's some times where you were so red, you know, you've and had I to, get red. And so uh, not to brag, but I am not a cute worker outer where like. You know, if any makeup is on by the end of whatever workout it may be, it's completely off. I'm completely red. My hair is completely. It'll look like the, you look like the soaked. Joker. I see Heath yeah. Ledger. Yeah, as the um, Joker. I worked out with a friend the other day. Spin forty five minutes, and her hair was still fine, like down, right, and fine. And I was like a drowned rat. <laughs> so that again, not to brag, that's how I roll. Um, which is why I don't like to work out with other people when girls are like, let's go to the gym. But did, so let me I'm ask like, you this. Did she bother you? Did she talk to you throughout the workout? Not with spin. It's kind of good to have someone next to you. You kind of push each other. You, you know, dance, whatever. Woohoo. You all dan- of that. You dance? You know, you get in the rhythm together. On a bike? Uh-huh. Man. It's nice to mm. get on the, you guys know when you do the hills. Sure, sure, get sure. Get on a rhythm with the person next to you feels kind of cool. Okay. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. No, j- just the point. Yeah, of... you thought. Yeah, you would think I. It, it looks like I'm gonna die every time. Yeah. So, I, um, and I think to myself, man, if she was on a treadmill, she could at least control the, the climate. Same. You don't burn as much calories, and it's just not the same. But but that's what I think the allure of this Peloton is, and we did this show the other day about it about about the Peloton where. I think people don't want to be bothered. They don't want to. Absolutely. They don't want to ride bikes on the streets, yeah. which they shouldn't. That should be against the law mm-hmm. forever. I think it's mostly men to and the, women because um, it's more a spin class than it is like a real bike ride. So, but you're burning just as many calories, right? As the spin class, yeah, um, and possibly a bike ride. Although uh, weather and all kinds of different elements, um, you know. Pop your in, calorie, pop into the your, equation. Ca- your calorie burning. So when it's 90 degrees, my, you know, my calorie counter map, my run app uh-huh. doesn't take that into account. Right. Yeah. So like it doesn't know how hot it is. Sure. So it just says that I burn this amount of calories, but I've sweat so much from the whatever. Yeah. So running outdoors is the only, the most effective weight loss, calorie burning way to do it. Ah, gotcha. So knowing that, uh, I love doing it. It's the quickest way for me to burn calories and lose weight. And I love doing it. And you were saying the marathon thing, like asking me what it really is. And I think it's just a mental hurdle. It's, it's, a, it's both physical and mental goal. Um, it's, it seems so impossible. And the fact that if you just get through it right you can do it is crazy 
It just seems to me, how many, I mean, 26.3, right? 26.2, yeah. Like, that sounds impossible. Sounds crazy. Impossible. Yeah. But you know, and I know from, you know, running 10, running 13, whatever, and even after a 13-mile run being like, I could go um, You could farther. keep going, you think? You could. Oof. Do you want to? No, but you physically can do it. And if you are mentally, if you mentally know you're going to, you have pe- for me, it would help to have people around me because I'm very competitive. So I've told you when I see people like ahead of me running, yeah, I like go up to them, make it a race. They're like, whoa, right? Who are you? So let's but let, that let, let's keeps set this me. let's set this up then for the audience. We'll have you do it next year cuz I think it's in January, right? So it'd be a year from now. It's in January. Yeah, so I could do a year from now no right. problem. Cool. I I'd, I'd like to see that go down. I'd like to do one by the way just once in my life. I don't even care if I run it or walk it or however right. I have to complete it cuz I've had friends who've done that too. Uh the LA Marathon was always big. Why would you want to do it? Just to say they did it. So well, I I would want to know as a human that one day that I was told you had to go 26.2 miles and get there without that you did it, that you did it just to do it once. Cause I, again, I had friends in LA do it. The LA marathon was, was big who aren't big runners, aren't big anything. And they just did it to do it. And then that was their one time they never did it again. Yeah. And that was it. Some of them were like, eight, I had a couple friends that finished in like eight hours. You know, they walked, they ran, they jogged sure. a little bit. Like they just wanted to see if they could do it. And they mm-hmm. all said the same thing afterwards that your level of pain and soreness for the the oh, next two God. weeks is on a, a, a level that is so unimaginable. Well, if you don't train at all. If you don't train, yeah. Like they did. I, I know one guy, I know one buddy who didn't and he just did it and just said, fuck it. And it was, I think he did it in like eight and a half hours, right? Um, he did the whole thing. And for me, it's like all these. He ran things. part of it, walked part of it, jogged. Yeah, like, yeah. Just got through it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he, he did it, but he was, oh boy, was he hurting. Yeah, because there's calluses, there's blisters, yeah. um, chafing, nipples get torn off. Like, yeah. All these other things have to be taken care of and put in place, too. So if you just went out in your normal gym clothes, and tried to run, there'd be other things that would take you out of it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So again, blisters, your nipples will be raw, under here. Like you have to really plan and prepare. You know, I get it. I get it. Uh a Buy lot of people bathroom. A lot of people by the way, I'm I'm gonna address this real quick. A lot of people ask me uh why I didn't go hard on the Oscars or talk about the Oscars all that much, um, on like my social media and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I there was nothing really to complain about. No. Um, I, I did not miss not having a host. I thought, I actually thought the show was better with it. I thought the show, f- uh, flew better mm-hmm. without a host. Um, and I thought, Definitely. you know, they would look Oscars are, are subjective. So, you know, people winning and all that other shit is, is, uh, is subjective. I don't think homeboy should have won for Bohemian Rhapsody, obviously. Uh, not in one million years should right. he have won. So was I, I was I amped about that? No, but he had won every other award for everything like Golden Globes and all of that shit. So I, I also wasn't surprised by it. Um, the only one that was surprising was the Glenn Close thing. Yeah. Uh, for you know she had won every single award and then just not the Oscar. It's the only one she didn't win. That was surprising. Uh, I was pissed that you know Sam Elliott didn't win. Um, that pissed me off. And then, you know, the Glenn Close did in other ways, too, where it's the same kind of thing with Glenn Close, where six or seven times you're nominated, seven body times, yeah. of work, yeah. like, come on, man, what are we even doing anymore? And, you know, I, my biggest complaint would be Spike Lee turning his back to the stage when Green Brick won over Black Klansman or whatever Get it was. Over yourself. Get the fuck over it. You're at the Academy Awards. Not only that, Don't but he, act now like you're at won, some fucking protest. And he had won a half hour earlier for best screenplay, so fuck shut you, the dude. fuck up, dude. Fuck you. Um, I, you know, th- I look at the you Oscars. You want to protest, not go. Just don't go. Yeah, I look at the Oscars like this. I think it's the, the time and age we're living in, which sucks um, because everything's got to be fucking non-PC. 
PC and all that other shit. And uh, I'm getting real tired of the I'm a woman and I can do things just as well as men can speeches that are endless now. And, you know, or people of color and all this other bullshit that's going on. Like, man, I, look, Mahersha Ali, this was his second. That was his second fucking Oscar. Uh, fuck, man. Morgan Frank. There's, there's been a, a million people. And they're like, oh, people of color and all this other shit. Th- there wasn't a lot of movies to choose from, first of all, that were that great out of last year. Most of Hollywood's making superhero movies at this point. So, yeah. you know, what are you going to do? And I think... The diversity aspect of Hollywood is is getting there, and it's pretty pretty easy across the board, especially for women. Christ, now you're just hiring people for the sake of hiring people of color and women for jobs, and like I don't even know if they're that you know better qualified than the people. Just go by talent. I don't understand where why it's not like the NBA or like Major League Baseball. I will I will always equate it to sports. Just go with the most talented person. Um, Alfonso Cuaron's a perfect example. What do you want? His fourth fucking Oscar? Yeah. That guy is from Mexico, not from here. Uh, she's been making bangers for years. Like that. Great. Go make gravity like he did or do, do whatever the fuck he did. Like, right. I've never heard that guy bitch about inclusion or anything else. Like he's a dope ass filmmaker making cool shit. Cinema talk, like doing cinematography for his own movie. Yeah. Who is it? Uh, Christopher Nolan. I don't even know where. Is Christopher Nolan American? I don't even know what he is. I, I don't even know what country he's from. I know he's white. Yeah. But I don't know what country he's from. I don't even know where he came from. He just makes dope ass shit. Sure. Um, I, don't, I don't give a fuck where he, where he came from. Make cool shit. That's it. That's it. So with the Oscars, I, I, I genuinely didn't really have that many gripes about the award show. I think, if anything, the one thing you, the biggest takeaway you can take away from that thing is... Uh, the ratings were up without a host. I don't miss Jimmy Kimmel. I don't miss the political aspect of, of all of the fucking jokes every 10 seconds. I also think it eats into time where people can give the speeches and thank mm-hmm. the people they want to thank. Yeah. I don't think you need a host anymore after it. I, I really don't. don't. Think so I, I sat and enjoyed it for the first time in a long time. Um, I'm trying to think when the last time I remember when a good host was. No, I mean, I know Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. They, but they did, did the Golden, Golden Globes. Globes. And that's the last time that I've, or Ricky Gervais. That's the last time I've. But that's not the Oscars. I know. I'm just saying that's the last time I've enjoyed a host. Right. So, so I, I don't really. And the Oscars is famously just a shitty gig for any, like it is, but it isn't right. It just feels so. After looking at it without a host now, it just feels so schmalzy of like, you know, uh, and we're then the sketch, the sketch and all that shit. It's just like, yeah, after the after that show, I was like, dude, they should go hostless every year. It sped it up. Hostless. Yeah. On um, real quick, we're going to slide in the revolutionary figure of the day. I posted this on Instagram at ST James, ST James. I always post weird shit on there. Um, it's one of the, the, the best accounts you'll find. Cause I just don't give a fuck. Like if I get banned from Instagram, whatever, I don't give a shit. Um, the Kanye, the new Kanye, holy fucking shit. Is it banger? S- slapper banger. Um, a, a yacker. <laughs> if that's even a, a term oh, okay. anymore, a stomper, a stomper. And you're, you're probably saying yourself, I don't understand why Kanye is fucking revolutionary. He's been holding ch- church ceremonies on sundays okay with full gospel choirs in the hills of hollywood somewhere oh they're unannounced he's been doing them on sundays and it's just gospel music church choir and then new music that he's testing out there's a clip a 30 second clip that i put on my instagram that's that's been going around of this new song which if this is the first song off of his album his new album that's coming out yandy forget it Trump gets reelected 20 minutes after this drops. It, that's how great it is. I mean, fucking A. That, I mean, it's, it's making Kanye great again. Right. If, if this is the first track that he drops, it is over with. And I don't even know what the fuck it is or how you de- I don't even know how you would describe it. I mean, it's like, it's trap gospel. I, I don't even know what you would say about this. Without hearing it. When you hear it and see it, and you're and again, they're out in the mountains, outdoors, 
all dressed in white, like white suits, and and it's an all black Dang. gospel choir okay. behind it. It is it fucking phenomenal. Whatever he is working on, that dude, man, uh, he's above almost any criticism there is. And all of these people are like, ah, oh, shit, on Twitter. Like, because I, ch- I checked on Twitter, I was like, dude, does everybody think this is the banger that I think it is? Mm-hmm. Sure, uh, sure enough, everybody does. And then all of these memes on on Twitter, are like. Yep, gonna completely like every liberal is like gonna completely forget about the MAGA shit if he drops one of the ho- hottest yeah, albums yeah, of the year. Yeah. It's totally true. Yeah, he is one person that is truly beyond anything. Um, man, it is a slapper that thing. Uh, Jesse Wiseman, this was fun. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, aka the Jabes, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>